Hello all, welcome to Technostech in the series of artificial intelligence. Our today's topic of discussion is generate and test search. Now, generating test search uses heuristic technique because we'll be using heuristic functions over here in this technique. And then it uses DFS with backtracking. So this is just for your information. I'll be making you understand how it works and what exactly it is with an example. So now uh, what happens is that when we have uh, a problem and we need to find solution. So what the system will do, it will generate a solution, a possible solution. It will generate a possible solution and then there will be many such solutions. It will generate many such solutions, sorry. It is just a technical glitch, now it's fine. So it will generate many such problem, uh, sorry, solutions and then it will drop, uh, sorry, it will generate many solutions and uh, like if we find what we need now it will test it will test on the problem like if if i have solution a solution b solution c it will test all this for uh, for the problem that i have now if i get the solution if i get the solution of my problem then it will accept else it will draw so this is similar uh, technique of generate and test in similar words, it will generate many possible solutions. Then it will test those solutions for the problem given. If the problem that is given is, going, uh, is giving an optimum solution for it, then it will accept or else it will drop. Okay, so this is basic fund of the generate and test. Now let's look into the step-by-step -step methods of how to solve this. So first is, will generate all possible solutions then it will test to see test to see if this is the actual solution This is the actual solution. If solution is found, then quit. Otherwise, go to step one. So it will see if you have found the solution, it will quit. And if it will, if you have, if you have not found the solution, it will again reiterate uh, step one. Okay. So we say that now this is here over here. The, all the possible solutions that it is generating are known as generators. So what are the properties of good generators. Let's just look into it. So first property is it should be complete. The solution should be complete. It should be iterable. It should be uh, such that it can be tested and it can be used as a solution. It should be complete. Next is it should be non-redundant. No repetition, unique solution. And the third one is it should be informed. That is, in the videos of uh, previous to this, we have seen what is informed and uninformed search. So it should be informed that it should have the optimum solution. Uh, it should have the heuristic way of finding the solution. It should be. It should have less complexity. Uh, it should have fast uh, processing, such that is known as informed search. It should be informed. Now, um, just when we talk about this thing, generate and test search is the simplest form of test 
simplest form of test search okay uh, searching process so it, it is the simplest one and then like we have in sorting the bubble sort is the simplest one here also because it's very easy it will generate all the possible solutions then it will test one by one and then if it gets the solution that is our goal uh, that is our goal then it will quit or otherwise it will again reiterate another solution and again test it for the same okay so this is how generate and test works so let's just quickly revise it uses heuristic technique it uses heuristic functions uh, with dfs with backtracking of course we like in dfs what we do we go in depth right like if we have like this a tree for example i'm just telling you that if we have a tree like this then what we'll do uh, we'll just first start with the initial state and then we'll see that which one is better option of the branches of the initial state and then again if we find this we'll go with this route and then again check for these two and then finally we'll decide which one is the good state right so similarly uh, if we have like if we go over here and like if we go over here and if we don't find then again we'll go back to its parent node and again check for another child nodes and so on and so forth so this is what is dfs with backtracking so it uses that technique over here. So it will generate all the possible solutions and then it will test to see if the solution is actual solution. If the solution is found, it will quit. Otherwise it will go to step number one. Okay, properties of good generators that it should be complete, non-redundant and informed. So this is all about generate and test search. It's very small topic, but very important topic. It's the simplest form of searching technique. So. This is all about generate and test search. Thank you for watching this video. Please stay tuned for more such content to our channel. Also do like, share and subscribe our channel and press the bell button to get the latest video updates to our channel. Thank you.